that was a good exhibition game for us. I know we had some areas we didn't play great at, but we did some good things. So that's a good basketball team, and Tom does a really, really nice job. And that's why I like playing, you know, uh, Eckerd, Florida Southern's obviously pretty good too. But uh, those, those, that's a really good team to play. They have veterans back from an NCAA tournament team last year. Um, and every time we made a mistake, they, they made us pay. Uh, we better soar up that rebounding. Uh, we thought we were just going to out-athlete people and just jump and grab them. And that's not going to work, especially with our lack of size. Uh, so we've got to soar that up. We've got to soar up the free throw shooting. Uh, and, and we've got to, uh, you know, in fairness, both my point guards, uh, you know, we got to get AC healthy. It's going to be a little while with him. And Tino uh, didn't practice. He had a virus and he was really weak today too. So we just tried to tag team it and, you know, get as much as we could out of both those two guys. But, you know, neither guy's playing at 100%. Uh, but, you know, I thought finally in the second half, um, well, the first half, I thought Hawkins gave us a nice lift in Poland. Uh, in the second half, I thought our veterans did a better job toiling and Vic of being more aggressive and not just settling for, um, you know, hard shots or, or long shots. Um, I, th I do think we're a much better three-point shooting team. I know it was abysmal today, but that will get better. Uh, Noriega should be okay. I mean, he's got a bruise. It might take a couple of days, but I'm, I'm, you know, I feel pretty good that he'll be ready to go on Saturday. Despite the virus, uh, Brock with nine assists and zero turnovers. Um, yeah, that's that pretty catches good. your eye. That does. I mean, you know, I, there's no question. He and he he can play a lot better than that. I know he, you know, he's, he, you know, his free throw shooting. I don't think is that bad, but um, he's a tough kid. I mean, it doesn't look pretty, but he is tough, and he can get to the rim. Uh, he can make some plays. He can guard the positions. He can play either spot. And uh, you know, if we can get that kind of production as a backup point. Um, that, that's encouraging because uh, you know that was an area we weren't strong at last year. Still, how oh. alarming is the rebounding? I know you guys are mixing formations and everything, but, but like you said, you do have a smaller team. So how Very you... alarming. Um, but it's alarming because I'm, I'm I'm disappointed, but it's a teaching moment because you know they just thought they were just going to go get them, and um, you know there were some long shots and the guards were leaking out. And, there was a lot of other times where we just we just turn and we're not we're not finding our guys we're not putting bodies in people. It's a it's an easy fix uh, fundamentally. It's a hard fix in terms of now we got to get tougher. I didn't think our team was as tough as we were last year. Um, we got to get better at that. I, mean, that, I, I don't want the identity of toughness and rebounding and defense to, to leave, even though we're going to play a little bit faster. Stay you, you mentioned uh, Hawkins has the ability to. Fill it up quickly, and he kind of showed that in the first half. Is that is that what you were talking about? Yeah, that's he exactly just... what I'm talking about. He's he's got that quick first step, and he's got a nice shot when he gets his feet set. And you know, he's he's going to be a, a nice weapon to bring into the game, kind of like Poland does. And you know, bringing those two guys in the game, I don't think we miss a beat. Sometimes we might even get better because both those guys are very electric players. Stan, with, with AC, what, what exactly is limiting him from a health standpoint? Now he's got a he's got a, a tendon. Um, I would say a tendon strain. I guess that's the best way to put it, a muscle strain in the calf area. So that's what you see him. He's kind of gimpy when he's running. He's, he's not, uh, you know, playing with full range of motion with that speed. So um, it just takes time. I don't know how much time. I, I, if Tino would have been totally healthy, I probably would have limited him to maybe about eight minutes or less. Um, you know, we got to see what happens. This, hopefully this day off. We'll take tomorrow off and maybe a couple of days. We'll help him settle down a little bit and he'll be okay. Is Jordan really elated with making the fun into that one and one? <laughs> uh, I'm sure he's going to get in the locker room on that one. But uh, yeah, he's. I was. Hey, both of them look good, and uh, you know I, he's going to get fouled a lot, and he's got to spend a lot of time working on his free throws. And um, I know he was excited when he made the first one. So <laughs> so excited. He was very excited. Part, yeah. Did you want to see him more than just a two minutes? I really did. Yeah, I was hoping to get him about ten minutes, but the game just didn't didn't work out that way for us. So. Um, I certainly want to find games and find spots in the game where he can play and play more extended minutes to see what he can do. And let him get comfortable out there.